Martin Tyler, and this is Stamford Bridge. And it's Chelsea today against Chelsea. Brighton and Hove Albion. And here is the Chelsea line. Number 28, Azpilicueta. Number 2, Antonio Rudiger. Here's the Chelsea lineup. Marcus Number Alonso 30, starts with Aspilicueta as the fullbacks. Jorginho Number plays three. alongside Ross Barkley Marcos in the middle of the park. Alonso. Gonzalo Higuain is the sole striker Number today. Number 7, Kante. Number 5, Jorginho. Number 8, Ross Barkley. Number 22, William. And number 10, Kevin Hazard. Brighton will play with these players today. 4-3-3. And they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key because those lads on the flanks, it's quite a complicated job actually because they've got to come inside, support the centre forward and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball. So an onus on them. No doubt that when they squared off Stamford Bridge a few years ago now and took away the track around the outside, it's created a wonderfully atmospheric stadium. It's always a pleasure to commentate here. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's a lovely stadium to play in and the pitch, like all Premier League pitches, but uh, they used to have problems here at Chelsea, but uh, it is like a carpet now. Chelsea have started the first half. Hazard. Ross Barkley. Marcus Alonso. Eden Hazard. And that's good support as they build this attack. William. Cut off. He really gave it the laces there, didn't he, Alan? Yeah, he did connect with it beautifully. Not a bad effort at all. Shane Duffy. David Lewis. That's Billy Quetta. Hazard. Here's Conte. Ross Barkley. They deserve that goal. They've been the better team early on. The goal from Higuain, and there was a gap to the keeper's left, and he found that with real power. Well, let's take another look at the goal. So it's Chelsea in the lead. Gross. David Prepper. There's no doubt that the Chelsea of today has been shaped by Roman Abramovich and his funds before Abramovich took over in 2003. They'd only ever been champions of England once back in 1955. Yeah, they were unrecognisable. The team I played against in the 80s, Stamford Bridge. The shot's on! He certainly senses where the chances are, Higuain. And he was in the right place at the right time yet again. Two for him on the day. And two very well taken goals. Another angle on it here.
Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Pascal Gross. Duffy. Jahan Baksh. Now, this is an interesting attack. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. Well, that was disappointing. They could have made more of it. Not sure how risky this might be. Playing the ball around in their own half. Maybe some threat to their lead. Gonzalo Higuain. That's Philip Cueta. Clever ball. Off the post, cleared away, well away from goal. Well, the keeper might argue he had that covered because when it hits the bar or the post, that's not actually a part of the goal, is it? Ross Barkley. Conte, and here's the shot. Plenty of power, but not too much direction. Shane Duffy, Montoya, Stevens, to Murray. Jahan Baksh. Opportunity in a wider area. We've given it straight to the opposition. Has it been a throw now after the tackle? That's Philly Cueta. Here's Conte. Now Rudiger. Ross Barkley. Conte, Higuain, Azar, striding forward purposefully, Hazard, it's a goal! It's a very good goal, I think they were a bit caught out because that's supposed to be his weaker foot and they... Defender just switched off for a moment. Yeah, and look at the way he did take it. Maybe he's been working on that weaker side on the training ground. <laughs> Chelsea very much on top of their game. Pascal Gross. Hazard. And they've got a man out wide. And it's gone out of play there. Here's Willian. Gonzalo Higuain. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Higuain. Willian. Pascal Gross. He's hunted down the defender. And it will be their throw. Walked off the pass there. Well, there's one for him to chase in behind. Offside given, Allen. Oh, I'm not sure he's got that one right, you know. I think he was on. Good chunk of added time here, three minutes. A minimum of three minutes of added time. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Montoya. Good defensive clearance there. Looking for teammates in the middle. Oh, that's good defending. Stevens. And that's the referee signalling for half-time, blowing his whistle, and it's 3-0 here at half-time. Well, what a player. What a performance in that first half, Alan. Oh, it was a top performance in that first half. Couple of goals for him and everything he tried came off. He scared that defence to death and he'd just be hoping to do the same in the second half.
substitution for Chelsea coming off the pitch. Well, we wonder if the second half's going to be like the first one-sided. Number 12. Gross. Loftus Cheek. Iguay. Conte probing with the pass. It could be now for William, and they get it away. Ruben Loftus Cheek. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Stevens. Pascal Gross. He's got some room out here in the wide position. Shot on! Well, not even a smile from the scorer. A consolation goal. Yeah, one of those days at the office. I think they're hoping the final whistle goes now. What a strike on the volley. Well, there's no finer sight in football than to see somebody catch the ball flush like that. Let's see the replay now. Three one the scoreline as we restart the game. Ungolo Conte. David Luis. Eden Hazard. Good reading of the play by the defender. And the away team want to make a change. Guiding it through the defenders. In on the goalkeeper. Trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. Gonna try his luck. How did he save that? Uh, he's one of the best in the business for those kind of situations. Absolutely brilliant. Number 17, Matteo Kovicic. Corner played into the middle. Played away, well away from goal. Duffy. Stevens. David Perper. Could get his cross in now. Played back. Well, he's cleared the danger. Poor cross, really. No chance for anyone in the centre to get there. Striker, striker, really. Gonzalo Higuain. A big, big part of this particular game and the performance from his team. Well, he's been magnificent so far. And the keeper, quite rightly, has demanded why he hasn't been closing down. Already he's got himself some goals. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. Whipped in from the wide area. Goalkeeper opts to punch. Great play by the keeper, but still a chance. Corner. And in it goes. It is a corner that's too close to the goalkeeper. He'll catch them all day. Still 20 minutes to go. We've got the away manager indicating he wants to make a substitution now. Loftus cheek. Stevens. Shane Duffy. There's no time to panic. There's still time to change this game. Well, I wouldn't be surprised to see the opposition manager put another centre-half on here to try and cope with this aerial bombardment that's about to come, I think. Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Azar. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Azar. Looking for teammates in the middle. Cleared away by the defender. Montoya. 
Now the countdown is to 10 minutes left. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. N'Golo Conte. Now Willian. Pass, pass, pass. And the player with the ball has so many options, so they work so hard off the ball to make those options possible. Yeah, and it's not been passing for passing sake either. They've uh, made inroads into the enemy territory. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. And he's put it away. The goal scorer will be happy, more perhaps than his teammates. It's just consolation, but it, it's one for him on his tally for the season. Chance that had to be taken in these circumstances. And it's got them back in the contest. Well, I think the belief is flooded through the veins of these players now after that. Let's see the replay now. Very good game, 3-2. Conte, David Luiz, Conte, now Willian, that's very good shielding of the ball, three minutes, that's what's going to be played for added time, that's Filiqueta, Willian, Hazard's the one in the striking position in the middle, far too close across to the keeper, Final whistle has gone, and Chelsea have the victory here. Very hard defeat, this one, to take, Alan. Well, I think so, because on another day, if his defenders were a little tighter, the manager would have seen his team victorious here. What a brilliant performance from this fella. A really good day at the office for him. Grabs himself a couple in a win. Couldn't be much better.